Um, one night, man, I was asleep and um, I woke up maybe around like four or five in the morning and uh, the first word that came to my mind was posture. <laughs> posture is how you walk, how you talk, how you carry and conduct yourself amongst other people, your attitude or approach towards the situation. With my line, I just kind of wanted to make something that everybody could just generally be their self and you don't have to try to be anything else. So I just wanted to kind of keep it broad that anyone from a, a child all the way to a, you know, somebody's grandfather, you know, no matter your color or race, where you come from, I just kind of wanted to be something that was for everybody. Something that's kind of big to me is, you know, my clothes making it to places that I've never been before. Um, I feel like fashion kind of allows you to do that. It can take you places that you haven't been before. Um, people wear my shirts in uh, Paris from to, you know, the Eiffel Tower to, you know, the Empire State Building in New York to, you know, Miami beaches to, you know, the Hollywood Sound in California to Puerto Rico, you know, and all these places are places that I've never been before, but I feel like I've been there because, you know, posture has made it there. I could wake up and my phone, phone might be blowing up and it's just like, hey man, did you see such and such, you know, with, you know, your clothes clothes on or did you see, you know, that, you know, Offset from the Migos said posture in one of the songs or whatever the case may be, you know, um, it's a great feeling, like I said, to just make something and know that you, you're the one that came up with it and people genuinely like it. The best thing about having a clothing line is being able to vision different things and bring it to life. Um, I'm a real creative person. Uh, I don't think many people know that about me. Um, I like to draw, but I can't draw really, but I like to see things and I like to just kind of bring them to life. So this just kind of kind of give me a chance to really kind of show who I am or what I'm thinking through my clothes and I don't have to, you know, buy clothes. I don't get to make them. So that's really, you know, the best thing about it. I'm getting to make it exactly how I want to. What kind of inspires me uh, when, while I'm making clothes is just what I see on a daily basis or uh, sports, really, man. I'm big on sports. Uh, my whole life, uh, I played sports since I was young, and um, that was my dream at first. I always wanted to play in the NFL, man. Uh, but it didn't end up working out, and when I watch TV and I watch sports and games and different things, or I'm driving in the car, I see different things and the colors, and I just kind of put them together. So uh, different athletes and that play for different sports teams, um, I try to tailor their uh, team colors after a shirt or a pair of Jordans that might come out. I tailor, you know, my shirt for the for those shoes or whatnot. Or um, soccer, uh, the, the way the jerseys are made, I kind of take different ideas and different pieces from that. And like I said, just different things that I see and just kind of make it my own and put put things in different places that aren't normally there or things that aren't considered the norm. I just try to kind of be different with, you know, while I'm making clothes. It's not just for, you know, white people or black people or Hispanic people or Asian people, you know. It's something that anybody can put on and feel comfortable in. From June until now, it's been, uh, man, it's been growing at a steady rate. Uh, you know, people from all over, you know, are taking to it and, you know, just uh, really embracing it, man. So that's a good feeling. Uh, my vision for it is uh, huge. Um, basically on a level or, you know, looked at as a Ralph Lauren or Polo, like I said, uh, as something that uh, inspires me and I, you know, not try to be like, but almost, you know, look for inspiration. It's just a certain expensive, like confident look that I like to go for. And like I said, if it just says posture. Some things that I look at, it just says posture to me or like the fit. Different movies I used to watch when I was younger of people over in France and in different countries and how they used to dress and different things like that. Uh, those are things that are constantly, you know, playing in my mind while I'm picking, you know, what exactly I'm going to come out with next. It's just a 
a mixture of a lot of things that really kind of inspired me. Um, a lot of what I've already seen, a lot of things that I go in the store and see, <clears throat> and I think, hey, this would be better if they made it like this, or, you know, if this is a different color, or, you know, you move that to here, you know, that would be make that look that much better. So I listen to my peers, um, ideas from my peers and my family, some things that they think, um, you know, might look good. I'll take it into consideration. And like I said, I just really, you know, kind of brainstorm and let my mind just, you know, take me wherever I want to go and just try to imagine things and just bring them to life. I'm Brad Coleman, CEO of Posture. Shop Posture Inc. at www.posturecollection.com. Get the posture right.